this is so amazing what's going on here today uh, honestly I mean people I forgot all about that have chosen life they're bringing their babies down here to say thank you because they saw it on TV they saw this place is closing on TV and uh, the reporters are all over that I mean it's just amazing what is going on here Orlando Women's Center is a place that used to kill babies. It's not killing babies anymore because the uh, police swarmed in here today uh, with giant moving vans and movers and completely wiped out everything that's in here. There isn't anything left in here. They took out all the, the, the tables, the chairs, the beds, the ultrasound machines, the televisions, office furniture, computers, everything's gone. They did it because of a, they were collecting on a judgment that uh, this James Pendergraft had uh, against him of $38 million. And the attorneys for the girl that won the $38 million had attached everything inside the building. So the sheriff came in and uh, got it all out for him. The lawsuit was a girl that had been, uh, had come here for an abortion and the people that worked here uh, gave her too much of a medication that she shouldn't have received and she ended up getting very very sick and she ended up going to the hospital and the hospital doesn't do abortions so the baby was born very early and it has multiple physical problems and uh, they have physical and emotional problems. James Pendergraf had paid a hundred and I think three thousand dollars of it, but uh, that's nowhere near thirty-eight million dollars. Well, I got here this morning, and uh, they had kicked the police had kicked in the back door early before it was open, and uh, had began the moving the things out, began the process. The workers were coming down here and they wouldn't let them in except to get like a letter or something they had and they would have to have a policeman go in with them and, and go through that. But uh, they systematically removed every single thing in this building. I'm ecstatic. I've been sitting on this wall for three years every single day. And uh, to all of a sudden wake up and see something that you and so many other people have prayed for to come to fruition was beyond belief, actually. Pendergraf was here and he was trying to get on every single uh, television station that he could to try and plead his case as to saying that this furniture and everything in here was not his, belongs to somebody else, and uh, then he was, uh, and then he was saying that this case was a long time ago, has nothing to do with the way they do things now, and blah, 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 blah. There is no way this place is open for business tomorrow. There, uh, there's not one thing left in there. Um, and we're planning on having a praise and Thanksgiving uh, celebration here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. He has four other abortion mills, and they are already referring the people from here over to the Epoch Center over on Virginia Avenue, downtown Orlando. They are fully planning on going and taking the assets at Epoch, but the, the problem is getting these things done in, uh, through the courts and through all the corporations that he's got everything encircled with. I was at the courthouse one day and saw that he has dozens of different corporations. People can pray that this place stays closed. First of all, they need to give him thanks and praise for closing this place, and then to pray that it stays closed, and then pray that his kingdom of abortion clinics keeps tumbling down until he's totally out of business. Pendergraft this morning looked highly upset. He was really angry uh, with the fact that this happened. Nobody knew this was coming, it just came down. And I mean, it came down fast. It reminds me that God's judgment, you know, it can go on and on and on and you don't see judgment hit, but then all of a sudden, bam, it's there. And that's what happened today. Police officers were here and they, 
and the, the man asked me what I was doing here and I told him that uh, I come here every day and that Dr. Collins here next door uh, uh, allows me to use this property and everything. So then I asked him if he knew what they do here and he said, well, yeah. I said, do you know how they kill later term babies here? And he said, uh, no. So I told him how they give the ladies a shot, how they put them into labor, march them around in that back parking lot up to three days while they're in labor. And then they bring them in and have them deliver the babies into a toilet half full of water. And in their own court testimony, they talk about the babies moving around in the water. And he was disgusted. And he said, well, I don't think you'd mind helping me to put up this crime scene tape, would you? And I said, it would be an honor. <laughs>